In this video I'm going to be modifying the dome so that it's more representative of the actual full-size engine. I'm referring to the Model Engineer magazine dated February the 4th 1954 And this issue gives uh, details of the boiler for 5 inch gauge and 3.5 inch gauge and the boiler is fitted with a dome uh, with an opening in the top which is where the safety valves sit on a cover plate and it shows this opening in the top of the dome as being square however the locomotive in the Museum of Liverpool has a round cover so I've been in a bit of a dilemma as to whether to continue with the square cover or convert it to a round cover. And while I'm not trying to build a scale model, I do want my model to be representative of the one in the museum. So therefore I'm going to convert it to a round cover. Incidentally, the brass cover that you see on the original engine hides a true construction of the boiler. This fantastic 7 quarter inch scale model shows the true construction. I've put some links below to some videos showing this fantastic model in steam. Ok, let's get started modifying this dome. Got it centralised in the four jaw chuck, close enough for what it needs to be. Probably within a millimetre or so. I can only hold on to it very lightly. I can't put much clamping pressure on the jaws without possibly damaging the casting. So it's going to need very light cuts. Just take our time. It should be okay. So that's 46 millimetres. So I'm going to machine this phase back. 
couple of millimeters just to create a, a raised circular portion. too bad I think that's as far as I dare go at the moment I think what I'll do is I'll make a ring to silver solder in there leaving it slightly proud and then once it's silver soldered I put it back in the chuck and face it off and throw it up on diameter So here I'm just trying to build up a high background temperature using a propane torch. Now I'm using an oxypropane torch to get heat more localised to the joint. It's important to allow the temperature in the joint to melt the silver solder and not the actual flame. 
otherwise you risk not getting a good joint. So that's it silver soldered and it looks like we've got good penetration all the way through. So by placing silver solder on the inside and applying heat to the outside the silver solder will flow towards the heat of the hottest surface so it helps draw the silver solder through the joint and give a good joint. So it looks okay. So back to the lathe and turn that up just to finish it off and then it'll be ready for drilling. That's a turn and done. However, as we now have a round cover, I can take this opportunity to actually um, include an o-ring for a seal rather than just a gasket. So I'm going to cut an o-ring groove in here to take a silicon o-ring and that will give a better seal.
Thanks for watching.